Okay, so um, I was thinking I would show you guys Rosetta Stone in case you haven't seen it or Dark Curious or anyway, I just wanted to show it to you. So um, this is the website. Um, there's generally uh, you, there's software you can download to your computer, um, but they're totally. I think they're moving away from that, and this is really the software that uh, people are using. Um, basically, the website they offer. Uh, or the apps on your phone or iPad. I guess I could maybe do or try recording of that later, but I don't use that too much. I mostly use this. Um, and uh, this, of course, is Korean. And see, they have uh, for the, this is only for the web based, and I'm not sure if this is going to be available in the next version. Uh, so switch to beta up here, so they're, ch they're changing it. Um, but this chat area is available for people using the website. And it's kind of fun. I like talking to the people, obviously. <laughs> and um, yeah. So uh, they used to divide it into three units, and then there was four subunits. But now I guess they well they changed it uh, maybe five years ago or whatever. So it's 12 units. So I'm currently on unit four. And I started out doing this initially. You can see, I guess I didn't do all this, but initially, back to one, did them all. <laughs> but then I started skipping. Basically, this is the core lesson one, core lesson two, core lesson three, core lesson four. Uh, these core lessons basically have everything that they teach you for that whatever, that unit. This is just to drill it some more, which is great. Um, but I guess this is probably where I started using Anki because <laughs> although you drill it more, which is great for more review, you don't go back. Once you finish it, you're done. They do mix in some of the previous um, vocabulary, grammar, etc., and uh, other units, but the further you move away, the less they do that, and it's not Anki, basically. So, I like Anki. I like spaced repetition. It worked for me in Japanese. I'm still um, playing with that some, um, but maybe that's uh, for a different unit, a uh, different video. So, you're right, that's unit three, I'm on unit four. Um, I think I this is done. So I actually converted this to Anki. Uh, one, two, three, uh, all core lessons, I went through them. There's a couple of my uh, questions I didn't convert to Anki, but, because uh, they were they repeated. And, but the rest did convert to Anki, anyway. This one I have, this unit I've never seen, it's brand new. So I'm going to go through it right now. I will put it into Anki later. And this is very standard for the exercises that they do. They mix up a little bit, but give you an example. Namjai ga tomo chogun kajugo isayo. The boy Namjai. Uh, total money. So we're going to pick him now. Kajigo Isayo. Kajigo. All right, I'm drawing a blank on Kajigo. Maybe it's new grammar. Maybe it's not. <laughs> um, I've only been doing this a month now. Uh, so I could. Um, they don't. They don't explain the grammar really. They're going to give me these pictures, these examples, and um, yeah. Uh, occasionally, you'll see in the 
chat window, someone will say, yes, I, I just got Rosetta Stone, and I'm starting it, and there's no English. What am I doing wrong? Where's the English? And uh, just like face palm, like, um, do you not know that Rosetta Stone is full immersion? Yeah, so whenever you, whenever you go to learn a language, typically you don't get just one resource and only learn with one resource. You're going to draw from a few resources. Hopefully you don't buy every resource available because some people do that, but um, you do want to get a dictionary, maybe a grammar book, or have a resource for one or the other if it's online, a website maybe, that's separate from your learning material. Um, and yeah, Rosetta Stone, of course, you may think, oh, it's so super expensive. It should have everything. Well, not quite. Um, anyway, you can't get this full immersion study method anywhere else online that I've seen. And I'm always looking, and I am always finding new stuff, but usually like kind of cool new utilities that um, language enthusiasts who are programmers <laughs> make. And generally, that tends to be for Japanese. Somehow, people studying Japanese tend to be uh, technologically, technologically savvy. Anyway, so let's uh, go through this. Um, 여자가 빵을 조금 가지고 있어요. And you might be thinking, well, I don't know Hangul if you're brand new. And does Rosetta Stone teach you Hangul? They do, they do a bit in the beginning, but they don't do a very good job of it. Some, a few people are in the chat room, because that, that comes up a lot. Um, people talk about the Hangul. Obviously, most people coming to Rosetta Stone are new at studying Korean. And Hangul is the big, the, the, the writing system is the big. Um, for them. If you go to a different resource, like a different YouTube, um, maybe you download some flashcards, um, Quizlet, you can cram the uh, alphabet in a few hours or a few days, whatever. Probably a few days is more realistic. Um, but if you're ambitious, maybe a few hours. You probably want to review it a couple times. Anyway, get it into your uh, get it, cram it, so um, so you know it, but you don't know it, <laughs> and you may be on the verge of forgetting it. But then, you, when you do that, you can come on here, and you may not may like recognize. Oh, I know ya. Yeah, this uh, this right here, I know, and this one I don't. This I do that I don't. But you listen to it. As you listen to it, it fills in the blanks. You can match everything up, the sounds up with the alphabet if you've. Um, crammed it and studied it some, and so that uh, I, I, that's what I I think and that's what worked well for me. I um, knew the crammed the basics, and then I came on here, and then I. 여자가 빵을 조금 가지고 있어요. Um, yeah, I, as I do these exercises, um, because I have a clue as to how Hangul works, I'm able to learn it and using it without. Um, forcing myself to to write it or read it without to, without forcing myself too much. Anyway, pang pang is uh, bread, and so that's not a good one. Right? that's money. I do a lot of shadowing. It's a little embarrassing because I'm going to be recording myself and you guys would totally judge me. And that's terrible anyway. <laughs> so maybe that's <laughs> when I'm alone more. Uh, so this is the pine with Nanja Yoja. Yoja I'll usually repeat that a few times. Give it a fighting chance to to enter my brain. Yep. And 
there's a couple settings you can do. Uh, they have like a heart, I don't know, like a heart sound. If you get it right, I turn that off. Uh, it's not that bad. It's just um, uh, when I'm doing Anki and making the cards and recording the audio, I don't really need those sounds in the audio coming up. It's So I turned it off. But uh, if you're going through and you know, just normally, uh, that's actually kind of, I think, adds to it. And they have an auto proceed feature, which I turned off for Anki because then I can go back, uh, do little screenshots, record the audio, add it into Anki. Um, I think it's also good to turn off because then you can go back kind of to practice with you a little bit before moving on to the next one. And then you go down here and just you click to proceed. 남자가 밥을 조금 가지고 있어요. 여자아이가 케이크를 조금 가지고 있어요. 여자가 케이크를 더 조금 가지고 있어요. Right, so coming up on 10 minutes here. Um, I guess I'll be wrapping this video up. They have some games. Extended learning. Here. And you can compete with other learners. Um, I haven't, I've only done it once. There's this girl, Sarah. If you come on here. And she comes in and um, looks for people to play with. And I played against her once and she destroyed me. Um, Uh, talk, practice your conversation skills with new friends around the world. Huh. I think I did that in Japanese a long time ago. Read or listen to your favorite stories. Uh, I've done this. This is pretty cool. Um, suggested stories. Mm -hmm. I think you kind of have to earn. I don't know if they'll just let me do this. Maybe I've earned it. Before, I was kind of like I could only read the stories that I had earned by going through the lessons. This is the first one. We didn't get. Um, don't want to do this. Just want to listen. Three, two, one, one, two, three. Three, two, one, one, two, three. Success. Good. Go, go, go. Okay, so three options. Listen, listen and read. Read and record. Definitely don't want to do read and record. <laughs> 제 침대. 제 침대. 여기는 서울 저희 작은 아파트예요. 하지만 제 아파트는 깨끗해요. 저는 아파트에 의자하고 탁자가 없어요. 하지만 저는 큰 침대가 있어요. 침대에 흰색 시트하고 흰색 베개하고 흰색 이불이 있어요. 저는 침대에 앉아 있어요. 침대에서 자요. 침대에서 밥을 먹어요. 침대에서 물을 마셔요. 침대에서 책을 읽어요. 침대에서 편지를 써요. 침대에서 제 개하고 놀아요. 저는 제 침대에서 살아요. Yeah, so obviously uh, it's like an audiobook, really short passage because, well, my vocabulary is small and it's hard for me. Anyway, I haven't done this one before. I'm maybe I'm going to come back here and uh, analyze it. Uh, it's, I really like reading and listening uh, for German language. So, anyway, I'm going to wrap up the video here. And uh, thank you very much uh, for watching. And I will continue making more videos, even if nobody watches them, at least for a little while.